Yeesh. I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. Huh? What's that? Oh God. What's wrong? Oh hey, I remember seeing as we I had a fight with my mm -hmm, yeah. But it's all that I was saving up a bunch of that's oh, sure I, I may have lost my temper a little Alright. Oh. <laughs> really? And here we go again. <sighs> Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Hey there. I'm looking for the- Really? Is yeah, the guy took off and has- Hardly. There are- Anyway, I think he's from that village with the- I think his brother is a god. Thanks for the tip. Say. Yeah. Hard to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. Hmm, what was that? Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? But where are they? Kid. And who are you, anyway? Were you a passenger on this ship, maybe? <laughs> hey, it's okay. You don't need to be scared. To think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. Hey there. How are you feeling? Well, your cough seems better at least. Check it out. I brought you some bread today. <laughs> oh, easy there. Jeez, you must have been starving. Well, look, no one's gonna take this from you, so just take it easy so you don't choke on it, okay? So, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. You got a name? Well, this is going nowhere fast. Let's see. 
Louise. Yeah, what about Louise? I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. searched the Southern Plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. A lot's changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know. Hope, I guess. If you asked me, that particular couple could benefit from... Oh, hey. It's you. What's up? You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah. He's my little brother. A shame. Not a clue. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he's... I guess we could ask the post... Just once, I would... I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. Hey there, Louise. Say, where'd you get that red bag? Mm -hmm. Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about everything. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today, but I did bring you something. Here, it's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. Well, what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Huh, what's that on the floor? Oh, it's a mirror. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Let's go ahead and check out your new look. If you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you want to see? Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all this time in the dark, huh? <laughs> well, it's not like we can have you stay here forever. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. How's that sound? Hey, Postman. I'm sure it I just swung by to... Anyway. Uh, no. There's... <laughs> Sorry. Still, that's pretty weird. I find it ex... Any idea where she... That is the question. Actually, you know what? 
Not often something like that c Hey, Louise. I brought your food for today. What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? Huh. You haven't been eating much lately. Are you okay? Well then, let's try this. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's called a song. Humming a jaunty tune is the best thing for putting a spring in your step. Songs are like a little bit of wisdom that makes the tough times easier. I love them personally. I mean, not that I'm any good at singing. Oh, your voice is a bit rough there, but you're actually pretty good. Huh. You know, I knew someone who lived in the town lighthouse before she died. She used to hum this same song a lot. I heard it every time I stopped by to deliver something, and I guess it just kind of stuck. Of course, that was quite a while ago. <laughs> Hey, are... are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> you are a kind soul, Louise. I'm sensing some really weird magic going on here, Sunshine. You feeling it too? Yeah. Is it... a shade? <laughs> Are you actually trying to think something through rather than just jumping in and killing? What's wrong, Kaine? Nothing. It's just... I'm sensing a presence from Seafront. Something like a shade. A shade in the town? That's not good. Shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. Kaine! Emil! What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. Not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. <laughs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. 